What's up you guys? So today I'm super excited. Steven and I, Steven is driving, are on the way to the mall right now um, to pick up the new iPhone. I literally swore up and down that I was not gonna get the new one. I feel like I always fall like subject every year. Like I get suckered into getting the new iPhone because I'm like, oh, it looks so good. Um, but I got the iPhone, the XS Max or whatever it was last year, the new one that came out last year and I've been really happy with it so I didn't think I was gonna get another one. But then I saw Katie or Luster Lux, she uploaded basically a full on makeup tutorial on her YouTube channel using it and it looked amazing like the quality was so so good so I was like dang all right I might need it because a lot of times like for this vlog channel Steven and I'll be out and about and like I won't have the vlog camera with us so then I'll use my iPhone and like the quality on my iPhone that I have right now isn't like amazing like this new one looks like it's going to be much better so I was really excited to try it so I figured that if it could give me some better quality content for you guys it would be worth the upgrade so um, I looked into it this morning like upgrading and I just went on Verizon's website and like couldn't get it until like the middle of October so it's gonna be like a month like backwarded I guess where then I randomly went on Apple's website and I was able to pick it up today like at our mall so I was like oh all right let me just add it to the cart real quick and go get it um, so yeah I ordered it in gold I'm excited uh, once I get it and we get home I can do a little unboxing for you guys so we're on our way to the mall now I'll talk to you guys when we get there and then when we get home we can do a little unboxing and check it out all right we are here we're heading into the mall now I'm a little nervous because the Apple store is normal because Apple store is normally a nightmare like swarms with people so I'm sure today is gonna be even worse because the phone so you got that going for Yeah, and I did have to make like an appointment, which I thought was like kind of weird, but I mean, maybe that'll be a good thing and they'll like, you know, take me because they know that we're coming, so we'll see. Um, there's literally a line. <laughs> ropes and everything. Yeah, there's literally like ropes with a line, <laughs> so not looking good. <laughs> Are they 3C? Yes. Alright you guys, actually much easier than expected, so we got the goods. And um, yeah, it was actually pretty easy. Like once I checked in, cause I had already paid for it online and everything. So the person just basically brought it out for me and we left. <laughs> so it was actually quite easy and we're gonna make our way home now and then open it up and unbox it with you guys. All right guys, we just got home. I have the iPhone right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys the little unboxing. This is what the box looks like. Very cute. I got the 256 gigabyte one. It's just like the middle one. I wish they had one that was a little bit more like in the middle cause the First one's like 64 or something gigabyte, which that's not enough because I obviously take pictures and stuff all the time, but then I feel like the 500's like aggressive, so this is just the one in the middle. All right, I'm gonna just use this to open it. And I, I wanna do like a little camera test. Right now we're using our vlogging camera, but then I'm gonna use my iPhone and I'll insert in a clip of the, like what a video looks like on my current iPhone and then I'll insert one on this. We can see what the difference is. It's really the main reason I bought it. So hopefully it's better. <laughs> It's apparently supposed to be. So this is again the box. All right, let's open it. Ooh, ooh, looks super pretty. Yay, we didn't really have a lot of time in the Apple store so I didn't really get to look at it. Oh wow, I like it a lot actually. It's a different gold, like you see. It's almost like matte. Well, you gotta take the film off of it. What do you mean? There's no film on the back. That's what it's like. Is the that? film is just on the front. I don't wanna take it off until until I get a screen protector. There's no film on the back. I'll show you guys like what it looks like in comparison. Let me take off my case on this phone. I guess they actually are kind of similar. I don't know, a little bit different. This is my current iPhone. So this is the XS Max and then this is the new one. So this one is a little bit more matte where this one is a little bit more shiny. But I guess they, they look pretty much the same. But the main difference basically, this one's got the three cameras versus this one that only has Ooh, sorry, someone just texted me. Um, versus this one that only has two, so. Yeah, better camera. More water resistant, weather resistant, yes. and uh, longer battery. Yeah, that's basically what the lady, because the lady at the store kind of scared me because I she saw me holding my own phone and she was like, so do you have any questions or anything? And I was like, no, I don't think so. She's like, yeah, it's not really any different than the phone you have. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, then why did I buy it if it's not any different? She was like, no, no, like, I mean, it does have, like, the additional lens, and it's better camera, um, better battery life, and then it's more water resistant. So, yeah, this is basically... I mean, iPhone's an iPhone, right? So... Yeah, that's true, but it looks really nice. I'm excited. I did order a case for it, but I don't have it just yet. Um, and then inside of the box, you get basically all the same. Oh, this is different. This is bigger. Yeah. So this is a bigger, like, thing to plug it into the wall. I'm not sure why they did that, but that's nice. Um, and then you get the cord, obviously, to plug it in. It's a different cord now? No, it's the same. Well, for this thing it is, actually. Oh, well, yeah, because I guess you well, don't plug it in. It's not a regular USB, it's a uh, USB-C, whatever you want to call it, the little one. 
Yeah, so you put, because this is the new, the new MacBooks have this now. Instead of regular USBs, they're USB-Cs, which actually really annoys me about the MacBook. Um, just because a lot of things that I have to plug in, like for my videos, like for external hard drives and stuff, are regular USBs, so, but now they're doing the USB-C, so that plugs into this, but the actual thing that plugs into your iPhone is the same, which thankfully, that's good at least. Um, so you'll be able to charge it with the other one. And then you do get um, a pair of headphones. I have AirPods, so I probably won't really use these. Do you want them? Sure, Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But it's always good to have like a pair of these on hand. It is nice they give them to you for free with how much the dang phone costs these days. All right, so I'm excited. I want to fire this up, turn it on. I guess I'll show you guys what it's like when you turn it on. Hitting it now. Nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And then I'll do the little video test because I can't actually um, activate this yet because I didn't like rack up my old phone or anything yet. So I have to do that first. But I think I should still be able to like go through to be able to take a video without actually activating it today. I also don't want to use this phone until I get the case in because I draw my phone all the time. Um, all right, so it just says hello. I'm sure it's a similar screen as it normally is. Let me just go through the little motions here to set this up. All right, so I just went through the little activation steps and stuff and this is like what the basic screen looks like when you first go through it. I don't know if it's actually, I wasn't planning on activating it. I think it might be. I don't think it was giving me the option to like not activate it and just turn it on. So I have no choice but to like get it going. Um, but yeah, this is what like, I guess the default home screen looks like. It didn't transfer over any of my apps because I just kept saying no, no, no. So I could just go through and um, see how it worked. All right, but what I wanna do now is the video test. So I just opened up the camera. Um, so it says new in camera, capture outside of the frame, and then new shutter button. Tap and hold the shutter to record a quick video. Drag the shutter to the left for burst. Okay, not quite sure what that exactly means, but <laughs> that is what it says. I'm just gonna click continue. So this is what the basic photo looks like. So you guys can see like behind me. There are better zoom options. Um, so if you click two, that'll zoom it in. There's 0.5 and one. So the zoom options are supposed to be better on this phone. Um, the portrait is supposed to be upgraded. Yeah, so this says create a portrait with a sharp subject, um, da da da, whatever. We know how portrait mode works, but there's the different options like natural light. My phone had this already with the different um, portrait options, but I'm interested to see what it looks like. Maybe I'll take a portrait photo of myself with this phone and then one with my phone and I'll put them on the screen here so you guys can see the difference. But now what I want to do is take video. So I'm first going to use my phone now to take the video um, and I'm going to insert in the footage now so you guys can see what it looks like on the XS Max. And then after that I'll insert in footage of the video with this camera and we'll see which one is better. All right, so this is on my current camera. So this is the XS Max. Looks like it normally always does. Um, the only thing with this is that it does zoom in video always because like the camera is like relatively far away from us, but it looks like it's like right up close, like up and personal with us. Um, so I think on the new camera, it's not supposed to zoom it in as much. It's supposed to be like more realistic to how far you actually are from the camera. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. But here's the video quality of this one. Now we're just gonna go change to the other phone and see what the difference is like. All right, we're on the new camera now. It looks better, I think. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Like on the iPhone, I think it looks better, but I guess we'll see when I actually import the footage like to the computer and it's on a bigger screen, but it looks good. I did go in and put this on 4K. The default, I think is 1080p, uh, like for, what is that, resolution or? Yeah. Uh, so I changed it to 4K because this phone can do 4K. Um, so hopefully it looks better. It's looking different from here, but. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, we'll see. All right, so we're using the back facing cameras now. It's a little weird because I can't yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we're like in the screen because I can't see the actual footage, obviously. Um, but I don't know. So I don't know if it looks any better, but we'll the see. The camera thing is weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird because there's three little cameras on here. Like so I'm not, I know, I don't know. I'm not sure which one I should be looking at. I'm kind of just looking at the top one. I don't know. I'm looking at this one, but I don't know if that's the right one. So we'll see when I edit this video, but yeah. All right, so I obviously just inserted in all of the little video clips for you guys to see. One thing I noticed off the bat is on the new phone when I used this camera. Oh. I filmed it like upside down, so it's not gonna show the right way, but it makes my arm look so long, like kind of distorted, which is a little weird. Oh, that wide angle. The lens. wide angle lens thing. Yeah, I think it won't flip now. It keeps flipping all around because I held the camera, I guess, the wrong way. Um, but it definitely makes my arm look so long, which I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little weird. I'll probably use the selfie camera though most of the time like when I'm filming just so I can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah. But um, it looked better on the phone, like at least on initial 
me looking at it so obviously we'll see what's actually uploaded to the computer and it's on a much bigger screen what it looks like but definitely let me know down below which one you guys think is better do you think the iphone is like better like camera quality and stuff to upgrade definitely let me know because even if you trade in like the newest other iphone it's still going to cost like six or seven hundred bucks um to get the middle one so it's still going to be kind of expensive so it's not like it's free or anything although i did see that commercial for sprint oh they're always running yeah special it said something like with Sprint where you could get the new iPhone for free or something. I don't know because I don't have Sprint and I wasn't going to like change our carrier to get it. But I did see that on the on the TV last night we were watching football. So maybe that's a thing. I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing, little camera test. Um, we love you guys and we'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.